gentlemen of the press, I came back to this particular case on the attack on the Abuja Kadunaban train of March 20, March 28. These three were involved in the attack. They took part in the operations, launched attack on the train, killed some innocent Nigerians, caused injuries on some of them, cutted away their property. You know, we made we made a promise that we'll get them. And in the course of carrying out series of investigations on some of the activities, you were able to arrest these three. As young as this one is, this bandit, he controls the camp. And he, this man too controls the camp. This one has confessed to having possession more than 40 something AK 47 rifles. As young as he is. So it's for you to know that it's not what security agencies can do alone. Who is sponsoring them? Who is procuring these arms for them? How did they get these arms? We need to work on all these things. But you can meet them and interview them. Why then they decided to attack our national assets? Because by now, if not because of the attack, perhaps we will have had second lane of the train that will be moving from Kaduna to Kano, Kano to everywhere. But that attack alone gave us a setback. And Railway Corporation will tell you it was a great setback. The Nigerian government has said it was a great setback. When we continue to attack our facilities like this, it's a step forward and three steps backward. The same thing, this type of people are those that are attacking our power generation plants. With this. And majorly, it's not common to us to do this. They must have killed a soldier, a PMF personnel of the Nigerian police force to have stolen this. In most cases, they know how to get these hands illegally. But we will surely get them as we've been doing, except they are drugs. This is of drugs, abuse, of illicit drugs, and criminal offenses. Let us kick against them. When you see them doing that around me, smoking, taking drugs, shout to if you don't shout. Many of them, when you see them, they are very gentle here now. When you see them in operations, forget my brother. Maybe more years. So we need to take care to tackle crimes and criminality from describe our laws, various definitions, and different punishments. If you use any offensive weapon or constantly obtain my throat, it's still armed robbery. Because it's not rival doesn't mean that offense is not harmed. It is harmed because this is an offensive weapon. You agree with me this can kill? This one cut is we use. Those cut is that they are black ass. This is their symbol, axe. And for some of you who don't know, when they celebrate their boogie night, they call it 777. This axe has figure 7. I'm looking their secret to you now, so that when they are talking beside you, they are mentioning 777, boogie, 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 you know, say they are referring to this, that they are black hats. That is their color. So you take note of this, and when somebody holding this unnecessarily, call the police. It's our job to know whether you want to use it for good or bad, but this is not actually used for anything. You can't use this one to cut for your wood. It's just good at cutting somebody's head and fingers and hair and nose and throat. It's criminal. It's small, but mighty. <laughs> it has its own type. There's a way it looks. For those butchers that sell meat, they are not food, it has a shape. How do you describe this? Definitely, you know it's for criminal engagement. You are not expected to hold or to be in possession of this, except you are a security operative. And not all the time a security operative can even be in possession of this, except. On duty. You are not expected to even keep this in your house. As a policeman, as a soldier, as a security operative, you have to keep this in armory. And there is record for that. So if you see this with anybody, 
No, it is illegal. Tell us. CP Larry Ogunawa is the CP Special Intervention Squad. But by the time he deploys those men to any state, he won't stay with them. He coordinates from Abuja. But the CP, who is the commissioner of police in charge of that state, should know when and how to deploy the SIS operatives to his best knowledge. So I, I wouldn't want to know whether the CP has deployed them or not, because I've not met him to have a brief from him. But I know with what I see and what I read, the situation report from Abuja, Kaduna on a regular basis, I think he must have done deployment accordingly because I read that Kaduna Command achieves a lot in area of combating crimes, preventing crime and decimating activities of some of these terrorists or bandits who terrorize our people in this state. By the time we finish the solution, we will con we, we commence night patrol as well. We are hoping to have uh, choppers in all the geopolitical zones. If you cannot have in every state, but well, we are hopeful to have in the six geopolitical zones. We are upgrading the, the platform of the Nigerian police force to cater for all these areas. So that when we have day patrol, we can as well have night patrol to assist all the operations. I know the, the train, the trains don't move at night here, but what of those who you know Nigerians will like night movement a lot. It's always very calm. If not because of the activities of these criminally minded individuals. We used to enjoy night trips in Nigeria where you have parks you have garages, you have um, cities, you park and you have good restaurants, you enjoy yourself, then you continue your journey. We are still going back to that era where we have no fear, where we move at night in Nigeria, across the length and breadth of this country. But don't forget, like we always say, we can't do it alone. Those elements, those criminals who affect us, who rob us, who attack us, they are not spirits. Many people see them, but they feel unconcerned. Don't feel unconcerned when you see them because you might be the next victim if you don't expose them. Let us expose them to security agencies. Let us make use of the, the online platforms we have. You don't need to show your face. You don't need to come close to us before you pass that information across to us. And we roll out all these platforms online. Some of you try and follow us. Make use of the numbers we are giving to you. All the distress call numbers are functional. They are working. Many Nigerians give us test calls, they give us calls just to test whether the lines are working. We won't give you lines that are dead. We want you to help us. That's why we are giving you all these lines to call us. But please, make good use of these lines. Not to ask me that my wife has not given me food, what should I do? I face a lot when I receive calls from Nigerians. Our security operatives who work day and night to protect us. In most cases, they pay the supreme price. We want to hold you to go and visit our formations, check if your vehicles have been recovered. And you can visit some of our platforms online to find out if your vehicles have been recovered. If you are far from Kaduna, you can contact the PRO. The PRO, I'm sure he has uh, his social media handles, email and whatever you want to share. The PRO should continue to do that to Nigerians so that instead of somebody in Bayesa to drive down to Kaduna to come and confirm whether his vehicle has been recovered or not, we can do it online. We embrace electronic policing strategies this time around, and we are moving forward. We are digital now, not analog again. So we can capitalize and leverage on some of these ICT platforms we have to verify certain things from us, to clarify so many things from the Nigerian police force. Gentlemen of the press, we have this suspect with you. You can interrogate them, but it's going to interest you to know that the effort of the police to provide adequate security for our trains moving from Abuja to Kaduna, our commuters, our vehicles, road users flying the ever busy and very popular Abuja Kaduna Express way are paying off. We have our deployment. Our men patrol the routes on two shiftings. Some of them move in the morning and they hand over to people at night to carry on. We expect that very soon we are going to embark on area night area patrol. The IGP has just procured lenses for our pilots to move at night and we are going to have night operations very soon. We want to urge Nigerians to always support the police and other security agencies so that we can enjoy democracy. So that all of us 
can have perfect security networking in this country. Gentlemen of the press, the Nigerian police force under the leadership of IGP Kayode at the Oluwa Gredo Kofiak the NPM remains steadfast in his resolve to uphold the rule of law, ensure the safety and security of all citizens of this country, and combat criminal activities across the country. These recent achievements along the Abuja Kaduna Express Way and in Kaduna State Command in general underscore the zeal of the force in fulfilling our mandates of protecting lives and property as expected of us. This special intervention and operations will be replicated in other major expressways and cities across the country through the establishment of the Special Intervention Squad, SIS, the pet project of the Inspector General Police. And we will continue to collaborate with relevant stakeholders, employ innovative strategies, and unless the full force of the law to root out criminal elements and create a conducive environment for peaceful coexistence and socio-economic development of this country. As we forge ahead, the Nigerian Police Force extends its gratitude to members of the public for their continued support and cooperation. Together, we will build several communities, foster trust between the police and citizens of this country and strive towards a Nigeria where all individuals can live without fear of crime or violence. So that yeah. no one can miss yeah. Miss Fight. 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 Go. 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 Man. Go. Man. Go. 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 Gun, which gun here have you ever touched before? Let me tell them. I keep. Because he compared that he has more than 40. Take his cap. Yes. Who is the leader of the camp? This is the leader. What's your name? Yes, and where is the camp? Ah, speak, speak loud. Where is the camp? Yeah, gentlemen of the press, I came back to this particular case on the attack on the Abuja Kaduna Band train of March 20, March 28. These three were involved in the attack. They took part in the operations, launch attack on the train, kill some innocent Nigerians, cause injuries on some of them, scattered away their property. You know, we made we made a promise that we will get them. And in the course of carrying out series of investigations on some of the activities, we were able to arrest this thing. As young as this one is, this bandit, he controls the camp. And he, this one too, controls the camp. This one has confessed to have in possession more than 40 something AK-47 rifles. As young as he is. So it's for you to know that it's not what security agencies can do alone. Who is concerning them? Who is procuring these arms for them? How do they get these arms? We need to work on all these things. But you can meet them and interview them. Why? Then they decided to attack our national assets. Because by now, if not because they attack, but I will have had second lane of the train that will be moving from Kaduna to Kano, Kano to everywhere. But that attack alone gave us a setback. And Railway Corporation will tell you it was a great setback. The current Nigerian government has said it was a great setback. When we continue to attack our facilities like this, it's a step forward and three steps backwards. The same thing, this set of people are those that are attacking our power generation plants. By now, Nigeria will be talking of more than 20,000 megawatts, 30,000 megawatts. For each time government establishes a weapon, I imagine what you are going to have in wrong hands. So we, we, we are going to still get others who are involved in the attack on that tree. Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, your code. Where, 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 who do you produce this for? Makake to you, Mom. Can I get her my way? Can I get her my way? Can I say that? Can I get her? Okay, can I say that? He said he needs to sell it. How much? He said 45,000. Dubu? 40,000. 40. For one. 40. Uh, Where's that guy that woman the party? Taking the old train. And I know if they have not been arrested, perhaps they'll be planning to even do another one. We are we want to give kudos to those who have arrested them. I want our security operatives from the defense, from the military. Twenty eight March. Twenty twenty. Please to can fire. He produced all this, and like I said earlier on, that we're going to see how we can work. The police will work with the law enforcement. Ready? My name is Monday Junior. I am living in uh, local south, behind local south in Africa. You are being accused. Yes. No, I'm not a gun runner. I'm a fabricator. I'm not a gun runner. I'm not a gun runner. I'm a fabricator. Kera Niki. Yes. I am giving it to my community because of the attacks. The bandit or the attackers used to come in the night. In the night when there is not uh, forces there. So we are giving to our vigilante in the next. I don't have the license to do. I don't have the license. But you know that's an order. No, I don't have the, the order to fabricate it. Okay, that's fine. 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 That time I was thinking that I'm helping my people because of the attackers. I don't know. Had I been, I know I could have not started even doing it. How many have you done so far? No, it's just uh, 25 pieces I do. I do. How much do you sell? It's 25,000. It's a revolver. Uh, where did you learn the trade? I didn't learn it. It's a, it's a gift. I didn't learn it. You were born like that? I was born to, to, to fabricate. No, it's not going alone. I'm fabricating machines. Okay.